Crime doesn't care about county lines. That's why for more than a year, 11 Alive has covered concerns over how cases are being handled in athens Clark County. But 11 Alive investigative reporter Rebecca Lindstrom says that the DA believes this is not about public safety. This is all about politics. She joins us in the studio with more. Yeah, lawmakers created a commission to go after what they thought were DAs failing to do the job properly. And it had DAs like Deborah Gonzalez in mind. While that commission is now in limbo, she is still facing lawsuits from the people she was sworn to protect, a fight that has already cost taxpayers more than $170,000. Deborah Gonzalez is less than five feet, but every inch stands tall. Despite criticism from some of the community, she is proud of her office's achievements. I'm doing exactly what they elected me to do, right? Keep the community safe. We were able to start a restorative justice program, a safe initiative addressing fentanyl. And Gonzalez fought and won to get prosecutors in her office better pay. When we first sat down to talk with the district attorney for Georgia's Western Judicial Circuit last March, she insisted money was the reason she couldn't hire and retain attorneys. Employees have a real choice of where they want to go. But the pay boost hasn't led to a boost in staff, leaving an office budgeted for 17 ADAs still with only five. Such a negative narrative has been put out for so long that that's now affecting it. Gonzalez is now entering her fourth year as DA. Now she campaigns for re-election. Representing the athens Clark County District Attorney Deborah Gonzalez. She faces a lawsuit claiming she has failed to do her job. The Court of Appeals heard arguments earlier this month and will decide if the lawsuit should continue. I was speechless. But Susan Wilson has already sued D.A. Gonzalez for violating her rights as a victim. I need somebody to stay with him. Stay right here, stay right here. Wilson received a call from the D.A.'s office just hours before it offered a plea deal to the suspected drunk driver that killed her partner of 37 years. Listen, man, he was riding his bike. She was teaching, so it went to voicemail. And when she listened to it later that night... It was so horrifically unjust. Not only was I not given a chance to be in a courtroom, I learned that the plea deal had reduced the charges to misdemeanors and that he had been given probation. The court has now ruled three times the DA's office has violated the rights of victims because they weren't aware, let alone given the chance to speak at hearings where charges were reduced or dropped. Gonzalez is the only DA in the state 11 Alive is found to face such public reprimand. Having these Marcy Law violations is not a good feeling. We served 965 victims last month. That's a lot of satisfied victims that are not bringing up Marcy's Law violations. 11 Alive Investigates tracked all of the charges on the trial court calendar in athens Clark County Superior Court last year. Of those closed, the DA's office chose not to prosecute nearly half of them. 130 felonies, like those in Wilson's case, were pled down to misdemeanors, giving most defendants probation. What would you have said had you been there that day? This is not justice. District Attorney Deborah Gonzalez says her office has been put under a microscope focused only on its flaws. We dive deeper into the Marcy's Law violations and the accusations that our office faces on 11alive.com. Just look for this story in the investigation section.